Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the Kn value, which is the equilibrium constant for a neutralization reaction. In order to do this, you have to be able to write the balanced net ionic equation. This example will show a neutralization reaction case involving a strong acid and a strong base. The problem we're asked to solve here is write the balanced net ionic equation for the neutralization reaction involving equal molar amounts of hydroiodic acid and potassium hydroxide. Then calculate the Kn value for this neutralization reaction. The first thing to do is to think about what happens when these two substances dissociate in solution. The hydroiodic acid will dissociate into hydronium ions and iodide. First you'll get of course a proton but this proton being highly reactive will immediately combine with a water molecule to give you the hydronium ion. The potassium hydroxide which is our strong base in this problem will dissociate to give you potassium and hydroxide. And the arrows for both of these balanced equations can really be thought of as a one-way arrow pointing from the left to the right. And this is because both of these substances are strong, a strong acid in the case of hydroiodic acid and a strong base in the case of potassium hydroxide. And in that case, they pretty much completely dissociate in solution. The next thing you want to do is think about which of these four ions that we just identified as being part of a solution containing these two substances will react appreciably with water to produce either hydronium ions, which would make the solution acidic, or hydroxide ions, which would make the solution basic. Some general rules of thumb here are that cations that come from strong bases do not react appreciably with water. And these cations are lithium, sodium, and potassium from group 1A, and we have magnesium, calcium, strontium, and barium from group 2A. You also need to consider the anions that come from strong monoprotic acid because these also do not react appreciably with water. These anions are chloride, bromide, and iodide. These three come from the group 7A elements or the halogens. And then we have two polyatomic anions, nitrate and chlorate, that will also not react appreciably with water. So two of the four anions that we're dealing with in this case, the iodide and the potassium, will not react appreciably with water when it comes to acid-base chemistry. So the overall reaction then will look like this. We have on the reactant side hydronium ions plus iodide plus potassium plus hydroxide. Now we already noted that the iodide and the potassium will not be part of any of the acid-base chemistry here, but the hydronium ion will donate a proton to hydroxide. And when that happens, you're left with two water molecules. So this is an acid-base reaction that occurs here. And then you're still left with the iodide and the potassium, but they don't change at all because they are ions that do not participate in the acid-base chemistry. So in order to go from this equation and write the net ionic equation, you need to get rid of any spectator ions, or those that appear on both sides of the equation but do not participate in the acid-base chemistry. So you can get rid of iodide, because this appears on both sides of the equation and does not participate in the chemistry, and you can also get rid of potassium for the same reasons. When you do that, you're left with hydronium plus hydroxide going to two 
with waters. And in order to find the Kn value for this, it's important to realize that you do know a Kw value for the reverse of that reaction, where two water molecules go to the hydronium ion and the hydroxide ion. And the Kw, or the ion product constant, that describes the extent of that reaction is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So we're dealing with the reverse reaction of this one. And if you remember, we have a certain relationship we can use to help us find the Kn based on this Kw value. And that is that we know that Kc prime is equal to 1 over Kc. This is something from basic equilibrium chemistry. Similarly, we can say that the Kn for this reaction is equal to 1 over Kw, just the reverse of the reaction for which we are looking for the Kn. So all we need to do here then to find the Kn for our net ionic equation, which is this one here, we take 1 and divide that by 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. And when you do the math, you're left with 1.0 times 10 to the 14th. So this is our Kn value for a neutralization reaction involving hydroiodic acid and potassium hydroxide. You can see that this is a very large Kn value. And that tells you that this neutralization reaction in particular proceeds very far to the right. So very much you're left with a lot of products and not a lot of reactants.